What are you afraid of in virtual reality? Stay tuned. Welcome to Animated Christians, where we do original content as well as clean anime and manga reviews. Before I get started, I thought I'd do something a little different. So, at the end of each episode will be a letter, and in the fourth video, we will see what word it spells out. So be sure to stick to the end of this video to grab that letter. Today we are discussing VR or virtual reality and some of the dangers that come along with it. But first, let's discuss what VR is. A definition of VR is an artificial environment which is experienced through sensory stimuli such as sights and sounds provided by a computer and in which one's actions particularly determine what happens in the environment. So, in other words, it's a fake world that you can be immersed in. Another way to look at it is what if you could finally be in the middle of a movie or inside the video game world all around you by simply wearing a simple headset. So there's a couple of theories floating around this reality. Could this reality be a simulation? So this theory is saying our reality is a simulation like The Sims. And we are the Sims, but there is a higher being that controls the simulation. And there are rules within the simulation that the creator made that he cannot break. But the creator can interact with this environment, but it is unknown to us because we have been either programmed not to know or to learn to know the creator by what he does. Say the Bible is in the simulation because the creator wanted us to know that he existed. That is the basic premise of this theory. Another way to look at it is if you're wearing a VR headset right now, which is our reality. But when you take off your headset, you return back to real reality. So the simulation theory would be the same principle. It's like us taking off our VR headset. But what is reality? A thing that exists in fact having previously only existed in one's mind. So looking at this definition, our reality is what we perceive it to be. Now, I know what you are asking. What does this have to do with VR or virtual reality? I think we have to be careful because what if we become so immersed that we could not tell the difference between VR and reality? What I mean by this is what if you could no longer take off your VR headset? You have been implanted into this fake world and now your mind thinks this fake world is the real world and that reality is just a dream. This is what I mean by being careful because we may lose ourselves to this fake world just as a deceiver luring its victims. The question I have is 
How immersive do we want to be? Do we want to fully immerse ourselves or partially immerse ourselves into these fake worlds? Another cool thing about VR is you can create anything out of nothing. Hold on, I'm going somewhere with this. In other words, we can create objects, people, places, etc. through our imagination. Sort of like we are recreating a new heaven on earth. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 says, In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. What does this verse have to do with virtual reality? Simply, virtual reality is like us creating a new body and heaven on earth so we don't deal with the real reality. This is almost exactly like the creation story in the book of Genesis. This is rather fascinating if you look at it this way. Now, I know some of you are saying that's not true. But look at the parallels between them. God created everything in nature and his greatest creation is human beings. Don't worry, we will get to this in a later video. VR is in the same way us creating an artificial heaven that has perfect being. Notice when you come out of VR that you're back in reality and want to be back in VR. It's because we long for something. And your first letter is N. Join me next Friday where we will discuss artificial intelligence. And never forget, Animated Christians is just for you.